Balance update time. By the way, pardon the voice, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather this week, but we got buffs to an entire team of characters and nerfs to two dominant archetypes. Only the numbers change, abilities remain the same. Let's go. Annihilator! I don't like that name. Yeah, the meta has definitely shifted towards bigger power totals, and Captain Marvel, she just hasn't been competitive in a long time. She gets one extra power going back to 4-5, which was her previous stat line before she got nerfed last August. <laughs> the discard archetype has been doing very well in the last few weeks, and thanks to new cards like Proxima Midnight and Corvus Glaive, it's putting out a lot of stats. Some might say it's kind of overbearing. So, the best performing card in the discard archetype Type, he catches the nerf. Apocalypse now starts at 6-6 six, six instead of 6-8. He still gets the plus 4 when discarded, but his ceiling is now 2 power less than before. Another archetype that has been running rampant, Thanos. I mean, it doesn't help that the two recent releases have been great Thanos cards, even if they weren't meant to be Thanos cards. So, his Time Stone got nerfed recently, right? And now, it's time for the Mind Stone. Mind Stone now costs 2 energy to play instead of 1. That's big, by the way, because the Mind Stone helps you cycle through your deck faster, right? Actually, the general advice is if you draw Mind Stone in your opening hand, you can snap on turn 1. Now, you can't play Mind Stone on turn 1, so this is big. Psylocke loses one point of power and is now a 2-1. I mean, we really only use her in Thanos decks to ramp, so Thanos decks needing a nerf, she caught a stray here. Yes, there's something wrong with me. He gets one point of power and is now a 5-5. Five, five. Where are my Cerebro 5 players at, huh? Drax, Gamora, Rocket, Root, Star-Lord, the Guardians of the Galaxy. What a bunch of a-holes. So the entire Guardians team, well, except for Mantis, Nothing. gets buffed. And deservedly so. I mean, their guess where your opponent is playing ability was always too much of a risk. So they've given the Guardians a little bit more power for that risk, but also standardized their abilities so it's a lot easier to remember. I actually like that a lot. So now, Rocket Raccoon, Star-Lord, Groot, Drax and Gamora all have the same ability. If your opponent played a card here this turn, plus 4 power. So here are their new base stats with their power potential if you get their ability to trigger. Rocket Raccoon is now a 1-1. One, one. Power potential, 5. So that's a 1 power buff. Star-Lord stays at 2-2. Two, two. His total power potential is now 6. That's a 1 power buff as well. Groot is now 3-3. Three, three. Power potential, 7. Also a 1 power buff. Drax is now a 4-5, power potential of 9, that's also a 1 power buff. And Gamora is now a 5-8, power potential still 12, so no change there. But her base stats are higher, which means if you misplay Gamora, it's not quite as bad as before. I'll do you one better. Who's Gamora? I'll do you one better. Why is Gamora? It'll be interesting to see if the Guardians as a whole are more viable, though I have to imagine Discard and Thanos players are not going to be happy with this update. What did you think of it? Does it affect any of the decks you play? Hey, let me know in the comments.